بهجتنا انه يلا اللي تحبون في حزت هالعياد وش باقي غير العياد في غمرة بهجتنا انه يلا اللي تحبون في حزت هالعياد وش باقي غير العياد والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مسعيد والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مسعي دامت مسعي فيه الفرحة مع هدى افرح وانسى احزانك فيه الضحكة مع سودا تعبها بكل اشجانك فيه الفرحة مع هودا فيه الضحكة مع سودا ردت كلمة منشودة عيد مبارك بالحانة خلي العيد بحلولة فرحة وسامر خلاني يا من تبغون الخير غدا يجل الليل ضياء القمر علم يعلينا يوصلنا نحو العلياء ويرفعنا بهجتنا انه يلا اللي تحبون في حزة هالعياد وش باقي غير العياد في غمرة بهجتنا انه يلا اللي تحبون في حزة هالعياد وش باقي غير العياد والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مسعي والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مسعي دامت مسعي فيه الفرحة مع هدى افرح وانسى احزاني فيه الضحكة مع سودا تعبها بكل اشجاني فيه الفرحة مع هودا فيه الضحكة مع سودا ردت كلمة من شودا عيد مبارك بالحانة خلي العيد بحلولة فرحة وسامر خلاني دكوا كورنر بوك ستور The most trusted partner for knowledge seekers Authentic knowledge to strengthen your Iman. Strive to move forward. Variety of choices according to your needs to revive your faith. Visit Dakwa Corner Bookstore today at Section 14, Petaling Jaya, Ampang Point, Aim Corp Mall, and Holy Mecca. Or simply log on to www.dakwabookstore.com. A'udhu Billahi Min Ash Shaytan Ar Rajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عشير والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يسأل هل في ذلك قسم لذي حجر 
ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العباد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وثمود الذين جابوا الصفا بالواد وفرعون ذي الأوتاد الذين طغوا في البلاد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فصب عليهم ربك سوط عذاب إن ربك نبي المرصاد فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعم فيقول ربي والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مساعي دامت مساعي
فرحة معهودة افرح وانسى احزانك فيه الضحكة معسولة تعبها بكل اشجانك فيه الفرحة معهودة افرح وانسى احزانك فيه الضحكة معسولة عدلي لك الالحانة ردد كلمة منشودة عيد مبارك بالحانة خلي العيد بحلولة فرحة وسامر خلة Dakwa Corner Bookstore, the most trusted partner for knowledge seekers. Authentic knowledge to strengthen your Iman. Strive to move forward. Variety of choices according to your needs to revive your faith. Visit Dakwa Corner Bookstore today at Section 14, Petaling Jaya, Ampang Point, Aim Corp Mall, and Holy Mecca. Or simply log on to www.dakwabookstore.com. <laughs> والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا نمضي إلى نور اليقين ونرتقي قمم الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا في ساحة للعلم كنا نلتقي والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا نمضي إلى نور اليقين ونرتقي من الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا نسعى إلى طلب العلوم وفهمها حتى تضيء بشمسها أرواحنا للدين والدنيا جمعنا أمرنا كي لا يضل عن الحضارة ركبنا نسعى إلى طلب العلوم وفهمها حتى تضيء بشمسها أرواحنا للدين والدنيا جمعنا أمرنا كي لا يضل عن الحضارة ركبنا ومعلمات كم أضأن مشاعلا للعلم والأخلاق فيما بيننا كم للعقول شرعنا أبواب المنى مهدنا درب الفكر كي يرقى بنا للعلم كنا نلتقي نلتقي زاد قلوبنا نمضي إلى نور اليقين ونرتقي قمم الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا في أرض قرطبة لنا صرح هنا لذنا به فتفتحت أذهاننا يا معهدي يا خير دار للهدى فيك انتشت بالمكرمات نفوسنا في أرض قرطبة لنا صرح هنا لذنا به فتفتحت أذهاننا يا معهدي يا خير دار للهدى فيك انتشت بالمكرمات نفوسنا قد مر فيك الوقت أسرع ذاهب ومضى حثيثا في كازها عمرنا أزف الفراق وظلنا بردائه مرت سريعا وانقضت أعوامنا في ساحة للعلم كنا نلتقي, نلتقي والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا بتنا على باب التخرج حوما في عام ألفين وتسع عامنا نهديك يا أمي رحيقة فوق نهدي إلى كل الأحبة جهدنا على باب التخرج حوما في عام ألفين وتسع عامنا نهديك يا أمي رحيقة 
قد فوقي نهدي إلى كل الأحبة جهدنا فتقبلوا منا عظيم تحية وتبتلوا لله يعلو شأننا فدعاؤكم في الغيب خير هدية تهدي خطانا في دجا أيامنا والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا نمضي إلى نور اليقين ونرتقي قمم الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاق الله قمم الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عشير والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يسأل هل في ذلك قسم لذي حجر ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العباد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وثمود الذين جابوا الصخر I'm
في غمرة بهجتنا هنو يلا اللي تحبون في حزة هالعياد وش باقي غير العياد في غمرة بهجتنا هنو يلا اللي تحبون في حزة هالعياد وش باقي غير العياد والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مسعيد والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مسعيد دامت مسعيد فيه الفرحة معهودة افرح وانسى احزانك فيه الضحكة معسودة تعبها بكل اشجانك فيه الفرحة معهودة فيه الضحكة معصودة ردت كلمة منشودة عيد مبارك بالحانة خلي العيد بحلولة فرحة وسامر خلانك أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عشر والشفل والوتر والليل إذا يسأل هل في ذلك قسم لذي حد ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعادة إرم ذات العناد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وثمود الذين جابوا الصخر Bills in another way, which will be purely halal. Nowadays, they don't know how to do Islam in the right way. Yeah. Like a lot of content creation is being done. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, one example. For you mean the quality is poor? Yeah. Like, one example for Dr. Ali Ali Khan. For coming for today's event, I would like to warmly welcome all of you to yet another Revivers event and our last one for this semester, inshallah. All right. Uh, the topic for today's event is to do with AI, right? And uh, how many of you here have heard of ChatGPT? Can you raise your hands? How many of you have heard of ChatGPT? How many of you have used ChatGPT? All right. ChatGPT is something that came up a few months ago, right? And it really took us all, took the world by storm, right? 
there are many people who I heard say, you know, if I knew if ChatGPT came out two years ago, my CGPA would be 3.5 instead of 2.5, right? That, that, that also happens, right? It greatly helps us with academics and in every part of life. It helps us brainstorm. It helps us, uh, in, uh, it helps us organize our life. And it is just one of the many thousands of AI tools that are there today. Every single day, there are different AI tools that come out that can help you improve your life, that can help you, help you improve your workflow and so on and so forth. Right? But now as Muslims, what we want to know is how do we use this? How do we, use, how do we utilize this great tool to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Right? So that is the very reason why we are here today and why we have Ustad Mashur, Ustad Ashur with us today. He's going to be training us in how we can utilize powerful AI tools in da'wah. Right? So Ustad Mashur has a bachelor's in engineering and has over 25 years of experience. He's fluent in Arabic, English, and French. Ustad Mashur is the CEO of Midad, and he has built a strong reputation for delivering high quality products and services. He also has extensive training, extensive training experience in utilizing technology for da'wah and has recently launched Marakum, an AI powered solution for digital da'wah. Along with Ustad Mashur, we also have Ustad Harif al Arabi, who I think really needs no introduction. He's been with the Revivers for over four years now, four or five years now, Alhamdulillah. So I think we can save some time on that. All right. And lastly, my name is Abdurrahman. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. And I'll be your MC for today's workshop, inshallah. So before we move on into the, before we move to the meat of today's event, right, we're going to be having, the way today's event is going to be structured is that Ustad Ashur is going to have his session where he's going to be training us on how to utilize AI uh, in Dawa. It's going to be around an hour, a bit more than an hour, perhaps, depends on the flow. Following that, we're going to have a short quiz based on the session that Ustad Mashur has just conducted. So, and this quiz is going to have rewards. It's going to be done on Kahoot, and whoever wins the quiz will get uh, a valuable reward, inshallah. So make sure you take notes, make sure you focus and fully benefit from today's talk. Following that, we're going to be having a panel Q&A with Ustaz Ashur and Ustaz Sharif al arabi And you can send in your questions using this QR link. So I would suggest you take a picture of it or you scan it. So throughout the talk, if you have any questions that comes to mind, then you can send it in through this link. And inshallah, we'll do our best to have them all answered in the time that we have available. All right. Uh, okay. With that, I think... Uh, we can begin the training. So, Tafabal, uh, sir. Inshallah, uh, today we are talking about digital DAO and the evolution of AI in uh, and how can the AI be used in the DAO. So, uh, first of this session, I need to write one question. Why are we here? Can I have an answer, please? To learn AI? Because uh, we are scared of AI. What? We are scared of AI, I think. Second. Any answer? Why are we here? What 
is amazing to come from here from lots of dance and for the same in home. That. The main is because as there is feedback in the Google form. Uh, some of them, how to make business with AI, how to learn AI, how to improve my study in AI. So I am here to make DAO. How to give our intention for this, sake of God, to renew our attention to we here, how to sell digital, digital and AI in making DAO. So uh, this is our main intention here, inshallah. So we must refresh our intention, inshallah, today to, uh, to this goal. So Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, convey from me even if it's just one verse. So inshallah, we, uh, from this hadith, we launch our session, inshallah. Bismillah. So we begin to have some definition, basic definition. What is traditional da'wah? The normal da'wah. Traditional da'wah like da'ya, make in street da'wah, public speech, uh, distribution of books, material, education program. This is the, digital, the, the, the traditional da'wah that work with du'a. Then next we are talking what is digital da'wah. The digital da'wah is using the social media, the website, the mobile apps, social media, and other digital tools to spread the message of Islam. So we have till now two types, traditional and digital. Both of them have its own strength and weakness. When I use digital da'wah and when I use that traditional da'wah, each one of them has its target audience and resources available depend on them. So it is better to combine between both of them, between the traditional and the uh, digital one. Because later on, when we have learned AI, we have to combine between, between all these tools, depend on the target. And I, I will target some culture dependent this DAO project. So I must understand the project, I must understand the DAO scope of DAO, and then decide which one I will use as a technique. The DAO traditional have some advantage. It is the face-to-face, -face, the personalized, direct human connection. Some culture require this type of DAO. The digital DAO has also some advantage. It's global reach, it's the main advantage, the global reach. The ability of engage different audience with many language and the interactive and using multi multimedia content. This is, if I'm talking about the reach and the engagement, we have internet user 4.9 billion. So we have a lot of work to do. And who is professional in digital DAO, you don't have time to waste it. You have the target 4.9. The disadvantage for the DAO traditional it is a limited reach for the digital, for the uh, DAO, is traditional uh, mode, time consuming, language, and cultural barrier. Upon the digital DAO, have the main disadvantage is the misinterpretation and misinformation. To have leak in information or fake information. So, if you are talking now about what we are doing in digital DAO, how it works, and how the procedure done in digital DAO. First, simple three steps, our simple three methods. To have our, my own platform, website, mobile application, or social network. And this platform, I put my digital content, audio, video, books, and then connect this material with scholar through what through the shared service so i have a shared service for the ayah he will connect with a non-muslim through a platform this platform is a website or social network or mobile app and then the shared service occurred between two both of them 
inshallah, and then okay, accept Islam or don't accept Islam. So this is what is working now in digital DAO. And inshallah, in these steps, we need how the AI will enter these fields. Another section for digital DAO is the tools we did for Muslim to spread the digital DAO. Like how you can make Quranic videos, how to make speech, how to make speech, uh, Islamic speech, how to trade with Quran with audio voice. I will give sample, each of them, I will give small uh, uh, sample for this point. And the third one is the LMS. LMS, it's abbreviation for learning management system. It is using the uh, platform to educate the Muslims. We have many education services to learn Quran online and fake online. This is something we did as a message between uh, the scholar and the uh, non-Muslim. We create video, normal video, and put it on the social, on the or platform, and add the service for chat. Like this, one minute video for each, as this example. The apple of Macintosh dazzled the world. It was invented by Steve Jobs. But who invented the apple we eat? The stethoscope. It was invented by the French physician René Lenec in 1818. But who created the ear in which we hear everything? Hello, my name's iPhone 6 Plus. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in fairy tales that some creature with intelligence created me. Let's just say I don't have to believe in it. I'm just a product of chance. You see, I'm made of metals and plastic. I have lithium battery made of some materials like zinc, cadmium, nickel, and others. I DDR3 RAM built of millions of microtransistors and capacitors, all arranged in chips. If you want money, we'll collect enough money for you so that you'll be the richest one of us. If you want leadership, we'll take you as our leader and never decide on any matter without your approval. Or if you want the kingdom, we'll crown you king over us. So the idea for these videos, it's short message and direct to have some uh, message for the user to integrate it with chat. How this is done, so uh, because later we will discuss how we make brainstorming. Before in digital DAO, we make some meetings with the scenario, what is the, your idea and for, me, for, for uh, preparing a video about God. We prepare some idea and then make the script and then translate it and then put the narration and then begin the film. This is a procedure for digital VR normal because later when I explain AI, all of this will be done in two, three steps. Even the idea of the video, I can ask the, the AI, give me best idea to make debate with athletes. Give me five ideas. And then I select one and talk with him. I need to improve this idea. So this is I before in digital DAO, and now inshallah we'll see in the AR. Sample of integration between the platform and chat. Here is the sample. We have the mobile app or the web. The user come and makes the chat with the scholar and ask information about Islam, like Rasulullah.net is the icon of the chat. To understand how we integrate this with the websites, also with local Hwar. All this use the same technique, the website connected with the chat service. Sample also platform integration with chat, a success story. In Qatar World Cup, we did a, a website for the uh, World Cup Live and integrate the chat to make DAO so, uh, in, in the World Cup. This is a sample of the digital book using in DAO. 
all the product we done, it's in one book, so it can be, uh, 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 non-Muslim can use it for scan the QR code or clickable electronic. The last one, we have a product called Nechtim for uh, application for the second type I talked about. It's application for Muslim to spread Dawah. This is what Nechtim. And here's Sheikh Smail. Anybody use Nechtim here? Application Nechtim? Let's go to here. What is the application you use the most? Guess what they said? WhatsApp. Allahu Akbar. WhatsApp. So I said there, we need someone to invent for us an application known as What's Quran, subhanAllah, so that at least we can pick it up one verse a day. It must be connected to WhatsApp. Every time you want to open your WhatsApp, you're not allowed to go in until you read one verse of the Quran. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, that application has now been made. It's in the Arabic language, it's called Nakhtim. If you go and search for it on Google, you will find it in the Arabic. You type out Nakhtim. What it does for your phone, it closes and blocks your phone. Every time you look at your phone, it makes you read one verse of the Quran, then do what you want. SubhanAllah. You know what? The people who made that app are saying that we have feedback. People are completing the Quran in 15 days. That's how much they're using of their phones. But that's only if you're serious, subhanAllah. And another thing it does for you, it protects you from bad and evil messages. Because imagine I'm reading the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ etc. etc. And then I open the thing and I'm seeing totally haram messages. It doesn't go together, right? I'll probably delete it, says Allah. Close it again. Sahih, subhanAllah. You read a verse saying, tell the believers to lower their gazes. And then you open the thing and, wow, I better lower my gaze. Okay, low. So that nakhtim is so important, my brothers and sisters. You know what? I think it's about time we thought about such applications and we use them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all goodness. So all is this application in one page, rasulullah.net slash apps. There's many applications. You can use it. It's for all of for free, inshallah. Uh, last one is a tatbiq called nunatil. To create some kind of radio translated with any language, 32 language. You can, this is the output. Just you select the sheikh and select the video background and the translation from main translation and you generate status mobile with or youtube in two three minutes so now we begin to understand what is ai what is the definition of ai some small terms we're not here to learn in depth ai so some small definition about ai ai is where computer tell to to think and learn to understand like a human ai can act as umbrella for machine that can simulate human intelligence. Okay, that is the word AI. For NLP, it's a subset for MI, for the AI, that trains computer to understand the human language. So now we are talking about how to understand the human language. And ChatGPT is how AI use the language to engage with conversation. So the first one, AI, I have sub terms called NLP, it's natural language processing, and then the third one called the GBT, GBT application of what? Generative pre-trained transformer. And pre-trained trans pre this, we need to explain, pre-trained, he have already his data that trained for it. So it is very important to understand that ChatGPT, it have its own data trained, it's trained, pre-trained. Now, we are talking how we use this algorithm or this machine learning to adopt it in DAO. We have many points that can we use. Chatbot, language translation, content recommendation, voice recognition, data analysis. This is general points that we can use. 
This is important matter regarding the content we are dealing with, because now we are talking about DAO. It's not, if you are talking about business, about any another thing, you can use the content, uh, and the, if you have some error, no problem. But now in, in ChatGPT, the content, it's very important to be revised. So we have two, we have two uh, way we can uh, work with ChatGPT. The first is about indexing and linking information. The way you give it to give you data and he present it for you. It is no problem. You work with this point, inshallah, no worry. The problem is the second point. To be the ChatGPT is the source of your information. This point is too critical to be the source of your information. First, you must be scholars. You must be revise any information did by the ChatGPT. You must revise. Don't take it any answer in DAO, copy and paste. There's say some some answer is right, okay, but many answers he put some words in the answers. It's it's very dangerous. So uh, I must say this. Allahumma balak, Allahumma fashir. So how we can work now with shared GPT? First, there's two way. We have the main uh, website is shared.openai. It is the main uh, the main website to use uh, shared GPT. You create account and you work with shared.openai.com. The second one, because many of some some countries is blocked chat.openai, and it's blocked in Middle East. All Middle East, chat GPT is blocked. It's work only with uh, VPN. The another one is pro.com slash chat GPT. You can create account in both of them. So how I work with chat GPT? The main uh, idea to work with chat GPT is called prompt. And there is something now called the prompt engineer. It is a, the way I, I work with the AI. What is prompt is short statement or question used to guide a language model in generating all response to engage in conversation. There is a popular saying in computer science, garbage in, garbage out. So if you put unhelpful, not specific information, you will get unhelpful answer. Depend what you give it to him, he will give you the result. He never say no. If you him ask small question, he give you a small answer. If you have a professional question, you get treasure from me. But depend what you request and the way you ask for it. So if you want to master and get good uh, resources from shared GBT, you must understand well how to deal with prompt engineer. And now I, I give samples. And don't rely on uh, only on the sample or example. You must understand the logic behind it. Because if you understand the logic, you can create by yourself any prompt you want. Okay? There is now something called in internet prompt market. Now the prompt, it would be, it, it's paid. You can go to a, to a website and, uh, and you, you can buy prompts. So you can deal with uh, ChatGPT. So how to understand some logic of the prompt? First, when you talk to the prompt, when you talk to the uh, ChatGPT, simulate a person first. You told him, I need you act as a da'iya, act as a teacher, act as whatever. So the first thing, you give him a role. Second, give him a task, do this. Third, give steps to complete the task. Do and don't. Please make this task and do one, two, three, and don't do one, two, three. This is kind of treatment with the uh, ChatGPT. Five, the goal or the target of your prompt. This is not uh, code uh, guidance. This is not, you must do this, okay? You can do one line and it will work. So, but. It's refine the prompt so 
that's why I I, I, uh, I explained it very good. And so you can uh, make training. You must make training with prompt to uh, learn how to how to create will. Like this, ChatGPT receives a prompt telling it what role to understand, then what information the user provide, then you give him suggestion for you, the direction, then you press the instruction. Example. This is a large example to uh, simulate what I use. I want you to act as a Muslim da'iya. This is the, the role. Then write for me a topic related to whatever, Islam, whatever the content. And you will write a viral Twitter, ta, 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 and this is the constraints I want to uh, explain it, do and don't. And in the last, uh, my first request is you put your text or your uh, goal from this prompt. Like this, I will write you a topic related to Islam and you will write a viral Twitter tweet, which include a call to action and emphasis the benefits to the reader. This tweet is, I give him some instruction to make it for this tweet. So he make the point of, of this Twitter and try to make, please make me a tweet only. And you will watch the difference between the scientists he say in both of them. Also, the way you deal with a prompt, ChatGPT, uh, you give him information as much as possible, okay? If you target social, you, you say to him, I need to make Twitter thread for Twitter. I need to make YouTube script. I need to make TikTok video, in, including what the prompt I want. Example, as, as a script writer, I need a video script for a TikTok. Use short sentence and address the audience directly. Use gender neutral language. And my first request is the best way to make DAO tweet. He will generate a complete scenario for this. That I, inshallah we see now. This is the scenario. And give you also the scenario, the voice over all, all the drills. Another sample. This is another technique for the making prompt, and I call it the master prompt. If you have time, use this prompt. But it takes time to write one prompt. It can take from five minutes to seven minutes or 10 minutes. I will give you a prompt, and your goal would be to improve it by asking me question. Once I answer the question, write the new prompt and ask me new question. This is some negotiation with the prompt to reach the best prompt for the target. And I ask him, I need to make a uh, video script about uh, Salah example. And your role is to enhance my prompt. He will ask you several questions. What is the target? I need to make a book about uh, Jihad. What is your target? What is the audience? He make analysis. He make complete analysis for your requirements. If you want to make analysis for Dawa in Philip, I, I use it. I need to make analysis uh, uh, plan for uh, he make it, what is the target, what is your scope, and some 10 questions. And with each answer, he will give you another question. And finally, he give you the prompt. Okay, this is a master prompt. If you have time and it's something very important, you will use this prompt. So now we saw the first one without AI. Now the red point is with AI. The first diagram, you remember it? I showed it in the first uh, uh, slide. The same, but without the red. This is how now we integrate the AI service through the digital DAWA process that we are talking about. This is the cases we are talking about now how we can make content using the AI. First of all, we need to select the content itself. 
So we deal. He can create the content or I can provide him the content. So we choose to what provide to search GPT the content. So I be sure that the content is reliable and trusted. We'll make a summary and dialogue design and one by one, inshallah, I will do it, inshallah. First, you have the source. You have any article you want. You have make a uh, summary for, uh, I have the content. Why we are here? We are target for the asset. So I give him the content, all the content I want and ask him to make provide a detailed summary for the article. Highlight the main points, the key arguments, and significant findings. His goal now is to summary he can make summary for complete PDF. I give him a PDF about any topic and the role of ChatGPT. he can summarize it for about 500 words only, including the main points of this content. So he done, he done for each chapter he can do it. It was one, uh, 715 words, it can it makes summary with 470 words and after revision, you must revise to make sure that all this point is covered by the summary you did. The second idea for using the AI, somehow I, I, have, I have some data and I need to make a dialogue between Muslim and non-Muslim. So I give him the content and I ask him to simulate if there is two persons talking about the content of this article and make dialogue between them through my content. So I give him this prompt, create a dynamic and engaging dialogue like this. And give him complete dialogue for all of all these steps, I am preparing the data. I am preparing the content. I am preparing the answer. Case three, I need to make design. I make a design for social network or for Facebook. So I am will I will use. I have two tools now. First of all, I will create the content. I create what we we'll uh, put on the design through so ChatGPT. He will make suggestion for me. Then I will use another tool. We have two tools you need to uh, work with. Canva. Who know Canva? Work with Canva before. Excellent. Microsoft Design. Microsoft Design, the new version is excellent. Using AI in the design. I will show you now. Here, you type for him uh, what you want, discover the purpose of life. He makes generation for many idea. Also, you can upload your own photo also. You can make it uh, through the design or he can suggest all the design. He take his time in suggestion. He give me some idea give me some samples i will choose this he will create the design and control it as, you, as I want, and I can change any simple with the command of text. Just I give him a text, what I want to uh, design, and he will make all the design for me.
many controls. I can add also, I can add video and control it. Put the logo I want, and then done, download. This is one tool like uh, Microsoft Design. So now we have prepared the, 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 the content, the summary. Then I prepare the design. Then I put the design in using the Microsoft Design. I, I have now a design ready for the social network. Then now I need to make a podcast. He can, using the AI, I can create podcast in five minutes. I ask the chat GPT, I, I give the command, create information podcast up on my data. The chat GPT remember all the history. So up on the data you have did, I, I, I get it to you in first step. Please make this podcast. You can turn the podcast on, but now I, I ask him, create information podcast between any two person to drive this word of uh, article that discuss the key insight and finding from the article. I give you some instruction, instruction to make the podcast. So, like this. I told you after he finished, He will create all the uh, podcasts between two persons. This is the role of ChatGPT. Then what? I will go to another tool. This is the idea now. I get the script. I must go to another tool. The tools I use now, it's called Flicky. For the, for the idea of tools, there's, uh, as the brother said, there's many tools we have in the AI. So uh, when you select a tool, try to be aware what is new, because each uh, day there's something new. But now I use a, a tool called a Flicky. Now we also, how we make the podcast. This is called Flicky. I just copy and paste the content, the podcast is done, copy and paste. Can test it here. So you can, you can see it in real world. After the copy and paste, you just select the, the voice you want. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. And this is output. Dear listeners, we're excited to share with you the empowering message of this book. It sheds light on the simplicity and beauty of Islam. Our first key point is about the core belief in the oneness of Allah. Kareem, could you expand on that? Sarah, absolutely. The book emphasizes the fundamental belief in the oneness of Allah, the one true God. It highlights how this belief brings peace and tranquility to our lives. Embracing Islam means embracing the truth and the voice is in the understanding not that like there is a... no God but Allah. Indeed, Kareem. Our next key point focuses on dispelling misconceptions about Islam. Dear listeners. Okay. Now we have the script and the mix the design and the make the podcast. So our tool. Now we can make a Twitter thread. I can give him an order to give me 
seven or ten twitter threads with this prompt each tweet each tweet should uh, build up in the previous and we also can create hashtag for each one and this is the result So now we have step to make how to make videos. The idea for making video have two add-on uh, steps. First, I will create the uh, the voice for the for the video. Then I will use tool. For making the videos, there's a lot of tools. We have working with Flicky or Vid or Canva. You can create this uh, script like this i will show you there's two options here first is small create a script for the video based on the book summary i told you from including an engagement introduction key concept and conclusion it is small script there's another prompt i would like to make a video between 60 and 90 uh, second long the concept would be is my article and the film will be a voiceover narration. Please generate script for the narration to read that. So I, this is the generated script. And in this tool, we have three tool. In the first one, make a normal uh, video. It's uh, uh, introduction to it. You make automatic the. Uh, okay. Join us on an exhilarating 60 second adventure. Ah, 
الفرحة معهودة افرح وانسى احزاني فيه الضحكة معسودة تعبها بكل اشجاني فيه الفرحة معهودة افرح وانسى احزاني فيه الضحكة معسودة عليك الالحاني ردت كل ما مش في ساحة للعلم كنا نلتقي والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا نمضي إلى نور اليقين ونرتقي قمم الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا في ساحة للعلم كنا نلتقي والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا نمضي إلى نور ونرتقي قمم الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا نسعى إلى طلب العلوم وفهمها حتى تضيء بشمسها أرواحنا للدين والدنيا جمعنا أمرنا كي لا يضل عن الحضارة ركبنا نسعى إلى طلب العلوم وفهمها حتى تضيء بشمسها أرواحنا للدين والدنيا جمعنا أمرنا كي لا يضل عن الحضارة ركبنا ومعلمات كم أضأن مشاعلا للعلم والأخلاق فيما بيننا كم للعقول شرعنا أبواب المنى مهدنا درب الفكر كي يرقى بنا في أرض قرطبة لنا صرح هنا لذنا به فتفتحت أذهاننا يا معهدي يا خير دار للهدى فيك انتشد بالمكرمات نفوسنا في أرض قرطبة لنا صرح هنا لذنا به فتفتحت أذهاننا فيك انتشت بالمكرمات نفوسنا قد مر فيك الوقت أسرع ذاهب ومضى حثيثا فيك أزهى عمرنا أزف الفراق وظلنا بردائه مرت سريعا وانقضت أعوامنا في ساحة للعلم كنا نلتقي والحب والإخلاص زاد بتنا على باب التخرج حوما في عام الفين وتسع عامنا نهديك يا أمي رحيقة فوق نهدي إلى كل الأحبة جهدنا على باب التخرج حوما في عام الفين وتسع عامنا نهديك يا أمي رحيقة فوق نهدي إلى كل الأحبة جهدنا فتقبلوا منا عظيم تحية وتبتلوا لله يعلو شأننا فدعاؤكم في الغيب خير هدية تهدي خطانا في دجا أيامنا والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا نمضي إلى نور اليقين ونرتقي قمم الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا الله قمم الفلاح وتاجنا أخلاقنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عشر والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يسأل هل في ذلك قسم لذي حجر ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العباد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وثمود الذين جابوا الصخر Don't
بهجتنا هنو يلا اللي تحبون في حزة هالعياد وش باقي غير العياد والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مسعيد والعيد شرف بالحب الله يا حي ما دمنا مع بعضنا دامت مسعيد دامت مسعيد فرحة مع هدى افرح وانسى احزانك فيه الضحكة مع سودا تعبها بكل اشجانك فيه الفرحة مع هدى افرح وانسى احزانك 
بيها الضحكة معصولة ردت كلمة منشودة عيد مبارك بالحانة خلي العيد بحلولة تبغون الخير غدا يجلو الليل ضياء القمر علم يعلينا يوصلنا نحو العلياء ويرفعنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عشير والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يسأل هل في ذلك قسم لذي حجر ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العناد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وثمود الذين جابوا الصفا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال عشير والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يسأل هل في ذلك قسم لذي حجر ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد إرم ذات العناد التي لم يخلق
qué no? Sorry for this. We are talking about AI and AI is too old. Nice. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل فجر وليال عشر والشفع والوتر والليل إذا يسأل هل في ذلك قسم لذي حجر ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بعاد في غبلات العناد التي لم يخلق Okay, we continue. Sorry. We have stopped about uh, making uh, videos using the tool. Here is a great way to make production. We make produce some videos. Uh, idea to video, blog to video, PowerPoint to video, or Twitter to video. For Twitter, I can send for this application, I send the link of the tweet, and then automatic it will create a video for the content of this tweet with audio and video, like this. Tweet to video, I put uh, copy and paste the Twitter link, and you automatically create a uh, the video for me. And here it has details for the voice style itself. The, you can select the voice you want as uh, this type of video, angry or uh, quiet. And this is the output. the slavery of the system. When a person accepts Islam, he is no longer a slave to fashion and consumerism and is free.
By accepting Islam, you free yourself from the slavery of the system. When a person accepts Islam, he is no longer a slave to fashion and consumerism and is free from the slavery of the monetary system designed to overmaster people. The second type of uh, creating video, da'wah video, from direct from a website. You can give him link for a website and we generate it automatic for a video like this. I can get the link from Guide to Islam. Sophie Jenkins. And he told me to select, you want a short video or medium video or full video. Short, it will summarize the content of the website to one minute. Medium, summarize for five minutes. Full, he will pick all the link you provide to it. Ex-Catholic Protestant, UK. Sophie Jenkins grew up in a lower middle class English family with an atheist background. Despite not being brought up with this belief, Sophie believed in God from a young age, but felt guilty for believing something that was considered wrong. Sophie was exposed to the fear of Islamic fundamentalism and was frightened of Muslims in general. Sophie was taught at school that Islam was a violent religion that treated women poorly and that Muslims worshipped Muhammad. Sophie started to realize that her belief in one God wasn't wrong in high school, but didn't know much about Islam. All this video is created uh, automatic and I can change each slide from this. So I have the option to deal with this slide, I take it as it is, or change the slides. Also, I can control all the subtitles. I can add many language I want to translate it to Malay, translate it to uh, Chinese uh, for the same video. By accepting Sophie Islam. Jay. Now we are talking about some AI for serving Quran. We develop a, a software called the Quran Assistant. It's used for to recognize your voice and convert it through the AI voice recognition and deal with the mobile app so you can listen to Quran. The main purpose for this is for the blind who can see and uh, with the Quran. This is a demo for it. آيات محددة اثنان آيات للبحث عن آية محددة واحد للبحث عن عدد من الآيات اثنان عدد تريد الاستماع بداية من قوله تعالى الحمد لله إلى قوله تعالى الرحمن الرحيم للتلاوة واحد للتفسير اثنان للترجمة ثلاثة التفسير ما اسم القارئ المنشاوي الحمد لله رب العالمين الثناء الكامل وجميع أنواع المحامد من صفات الجلال والكمال هي لله وحده دون من سواه إذ هو رب كل شيء وخالقه ومدبره والعالمون جمع عالم وهو كل ما سوى الله تعالى الرحمن الرحيم ثناء على الله تعالى بعد حمده في الآية السابقة للتلاوة واحد للتفسير اثنان للترجمة ثلاثة ترجمة للترجمة إلى الإنجليزية واحد للترجمة للفرنسية اثنان للترجمة للإسبانية ثلاثة الأسبانية ما اسم القارئ ياسر البوسري الحمد لله رب العالمين الغالب السيئة الله سنيور بطول الأكريافية الرحمن الرحيم. So, this kind of application, uh, if anybody here work as a mobile developer, so he can go to this kind of voice recognition to help Quran. Uh, anyone specialized in the web development of mobile developer here as an engineer? This section here in engineering um, for, for mobile or web, IT, no IT department here, if you IT, okay. This specialized for the IT department who is working in the mobile development for the language for development. Here we have uh, Mr. Daya, 
from Russia. He will give you a sample of his lesson in Russian language. И сегодня я хотел бы воспользоваться этой возможностью, чтобы дать вам введение в ислам. Некоторым из вас может быть интересно узнать больше об исламе. Некоторые из вас возможно. This is option for Спасибо this is a very powerful tool. You give it a link for your DAO video in English. It's at w.io. And you select the output language. Any language. There's 32 languages. And it will convert it in the same video. And with the way you can edit also, because as if there is any uh, error in the translation, you can select the text, the problem with the text. And here, the interface, just select the, uh, the error and it will be reflected in the same video. Change the audio and the video for the source. So if you if you want to create videos of multi language, just create put it the source and definition of the language, and you create the another language is very powerful and it takes two minutes for create this video. Another tool also useful tool for you is summarize the video. If you have a very long video, one hour, and you want to summarize it and you want to know what he's talk about. So there's a tool called Video Highlight. It will give you complete details, summary of the video with links to the, uh, the points you want to, uh, uh, to revise it, like this. You can select you want a summary long or details or very short. Here we have a tool for the meeting, for Zoom meetings. So you as a student, you have many Zoom meetings. This tool, it, uh, it goes with all your uh, Zoom meeting as a member, as a, a assist with you the meeting and make classification and transcription and summarize your meeting and make the tasks. I will show you to you. This is a presentation for their site. With Fireflies, your team can remember everything from your meetings. Our AI assistant, Fred, captures, transcribes, and takes meeting notes for you. After the meeting, search, listen, share, and collaborate seamlessly. Fireflies can surface action items, important topics, and other key highlights. It'll even fill out your CRM and push notes to the apps where you already work. Need to provide feedback to teammates? Easily flag important parts of calls or leave comments at specific sections. Create shareable sound bites of the most memorable moments. Having better meetings means fewer meetings. Make your team more productive today. Try Fireflies for free. I will use it in, in, in meetings for the members. He can, he can memorize all the tasks done for one attendance for in the zoom to another and give and send it by email for me this will help you a lot in, in the meetings meet journey anybody work with meet journey meet journey is perfect for using the art to anyone interested in making art he just takes the comments and produce this like this kind of photo you create your account in mid journey and you create artistic work using some text only. I will show you a video uh, we did using the mid journey. All this is done with mid journey. This video is sample of using AI in uh, production of a video, beginning from the idea itself. And I asked with uh, ChatGPT, I asked him for, we need to make an uh, idea for making Zifar for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
what the scholars say about him. They, there is many scholars said about Prophet Muhammad. So we need a brand idea to make a video for this. So I let you with this trailer. In a world where division and hate dominate the headlines, there's a place where people of all backgrounds come together to debate, educate, and learn. The biggest philosophers, the most famous scientists, and greatest historians all come together to settle one topic. Who is the greatest man ever? What would Dostoevsky say to Rene Descartes? Or Omar al-Mukhtar to Napoleon? Why would Al-Parizmi disagree with Aristotle? Or Ahmed Didat with Darwin? But wait, how would all these people come together in one place? And what will be the result of this legendary meeting? The man that changed humanity. An Islamic film that mixes entertainment with education, leaving no doubt in the minds of non-Muslims about the questions that matter. Coming soon. This kind of video we use AI to develop the content and the handwriting. So uh, this is the main points I have today, today. And uh, this website, as uh, Brother said, there's, each day with us, there is a tools for uh, AI tool. So keep it updated. I have two websites. You can keep it. Futurepedia.io and here uh, our website Malkum is specialized inshallah for AI in Islamic perspective. So this website has a technology, okay? Futurepedia, there's a lot of AI tool. You can uh, use it. And for this, this can, there's community for Muslim developers and Muslim who are working in Dawa to share the prompt or the tools or any uh, something developed in the uh, AI help down. Okay, that's done.
if it's something that you would like to explore, you can look into it. There's also a bunting over there where you can scan their QR code in order to get more information. So, all right, so lastly, the QR code for the questions. If you want to send in your questions, please do send it in using this QR code. You can take a picture to save it, like I mentioned, and send in the questions whenever you want. All right, let's see. Is the quiz ready? All right. Uh, okay, can I ask you guys to take out your phones? Where is the code? All right, uh, please enter in the pin. It's Kahoot. Just search Kahoot on Google, enter in the pin, and you'll enter the game room. Uh, let's make it quick, yeah? Let's keep it uh, 30 seconds, and then we'll, we'll begin. Please do put in your full name. Uh, don't put in anything such as cat or squirrel. I mean, if you don't have your full name here, you I mean, not full name, if you don't have at least your first name here, uh, you, you won't be eligible for the uh, for the prize. The demo. I like like this person far. I mean, I don't think that's going to be eligible. Okay, let, let's give 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Is everyone inside? Is anyone not inside? It's gone? All right, let's go. Okay. And the first question is, can we from me, even, even if it is one verse, is this verse in the Quran, is it a hadith of the Prophet, or is it a hadith Qudsi? Huh? All right. Is it a hadith, is it a verse, is it the hadith Qudsi? Which one is it? Can we? All right. 20 people got that wrong. That's... Uh, Oh, you, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. So we're having color, color yeah, difficulties. So what you do is look at the shape. Even the shape is not shown. So this... All right. What does ChatGPT stand for? So you've got to look at the shape, right? That's a triangle, a circle, and a square, a hex a square. So based on the shape, click the answer on your phone. Yeah, yeah. All right, Brahman Khan is on top. That's good, that's good. All right, let's, let's go on. What is the main disadvantage of digital da'wah? Eye strain, time consuming, misinformation. 
So this is the triangle, circle, square. Alright, which one is it? Has to be I straight. Yeah. Right? Is this one? Okay, misinformation that that's correct. Yeah. How long does it take to create a prompt? 70 minutes, 17 minutes, 7 minutes. This one, see, this one is quite easy. I think it's 70 minutes. Huh? On top. Okay, has it stays on top? Come on. What is the advantage of digital DAO? It's face to face, you get to scroll through your phone, global reach. You can get into using your phone more is always an advantage, isn't it? Okay. Global reach. Right, how's it still on top? Sisters, where are the sisters? All, it's all brothers here. Which app makes you read one verse of the Quran every time you open your phone? Nakhtim, what's Quran? Nabda. So this was told by Mufti Mank. I think you, you have to have remembered that, huh? Is it Nakhtim, Nabda, or what's Quran? What is the answer? There should be an option for WhatsApp as well. Nakhtim, very good. Okay. Oh, how's it still on top? I'll do. Right. What is the master prompt for chat GPT? Be clear in your instructions, let it improve the prompt by asking you questions, give it a prompt in five steps. So this, this is the key to improving your CGPA. So even if you don't answer it correctly, remember the correct answer afterwards. Okay, this was even displayed. Let it improve. All right, the answer went. <laughs> All right, Adam is on top now. Hazik, Miraz. Which of the following is not true? ChatGPT can act like a da'i and give good answers. ChatGPT can cross question like an atheist. ChatGPT can be a source for correct answers. This is a tricky one. Which one is it? It can act like an atheist. Is it? Why is it going? Show the answer. Huh? It's saying all the answers were wrong. Which one? That one, all the answers were wrong. He didn't accept the trainer, didn't accept the trainer. Really? You wanted to comment on it? Okay. Uh, digital Dawa caters to different audiences by giving access to different languages. Is it true or false? The Quran assistance software is mainly designed for the dumb, the blind, or the deaf. Huh? All right, it's for the blind. Okay. Uh, oh, mashallah, a sister came onto the scene. Very good, sister Fatima. Can you raise your hands? The winner, okay, so there. Brother Hamdan is here. And uh, Brother Hazik. All right, very good, mashallah. All right, okay, with that, we've come to the end of the quiz session. Uh, you want to make a comment? <laughs> I think the, the, the speaker disputes one or two of the answers. So, uh, <laughs> so we'll decide what we can do about the practice.
it, it saddens me to hear that many of the participants who were giving feedback in the pre-registration said their hope or their goal was, I want to learn about AI so I can use it to make money, to start a business, to improve in my work or my studies. These are all things that you can do, but it cannot compare to doing da'wah. The Prophet ﷺ said, if one person is guided by you, one person, and we know some people have guided thousands of people, millions of people. Now using technology, um, I know of some organizations just through live chat programs, they have tens of thousands of people converting to Islam with them every year. Can you imagine you come on the Day of Judgment and then there's like hundreds of thousands of people, all their good deeds are pouring into your scale and you are shocked. What is this? This is all these people's lives. Every time they made wudu, every time they prayed, every time they made dhikr, every time they made dua, they got married to Muslims, they had Muslim children, they died as Muslims. Allahu Akbar. Can you imagine? This is like you are what? Cloning yourself and then earning all the good deeds that all your copies are doing. Allah, it's unbelievable. If you want to look for ROI, return on investment, then our, our talk just a few days ago here on this stage was about Jannah. We're working for Akhirah, we're not working for this life. If you spend all your time and your effort and everything just thinking about dunya, then you're going to lose because dunya is 70 years if you are lucky, right? If you reach to 80 years, you are on borrowed time and your time is almost going to run out at any moment. So when you talk about Akhirah, which is eternal, that's what a person wants to invest in. Now, we are at an international Islamic university, which means the thinking should be Islamic. Even I'm studying IT, I'm studying engineering, I'm studying architecture, I'm studying whatever it might be, I'm still having an Islamic mindset, which means I want to use my knowledge, I want to use my career, I want to use my life. I want to give my life for Allah and I want to do something for Allah and His religion. Beyond just, I earned a good living, I bought a house, I had a family and then I died and that was it, right? This is a, this is a mundane life, a boring life, the life that the average human being lives. The Muslim has a purpose and thinks bigger and higher than that. Right now, the barrier for many of us to dawah is what? Oh, I don't have enough knowledge. Oh, I don't have enough experience. Oh, I don't have enough uh, courage. I'm not a, 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 for example, an eloquent speaker. I'm not confident enough to approach and speak to people. Now, with technology, you don't have to be any of those things. You can use the knowledge that's already been produced by scholars. You don't have to come up with the knowledge yourself. You just repackage it and distribute it. You don't have to be confident. You don't have to see anybody. You can hide behind your phone and your screen. Subhanallah. And it's something that you don't have to be a professional. The websites are there. You just copy paste and it produces everything for you. The screen is coming down on us. Huh? Is it going to? Okay. So, so the idea is um, no one really has an excuse anymore is the way I see it. And this is why uh, Sheikh Mohammed Ashur and his company, they've been producing, mashallah, now for years, many apps which enable you to make da'wah, right? He didn't present all of the apps that he has created, mashallah, over the years, but many, many apps which can be used in multiple languages. You can take a Quran clip, you can take a, a, a video and combine together and create content in a short period of time. And now he's showing you that with AI, it's automated. It can do everything for you, beginning to end. It can write the script, create the audio, create the... Ya Rabbi, there's no excuse left anymore. But we are trying to reach how many internet users did he show in the beginning? How many internet users did he show in the very first slides? Worldwide, how many human beings have access to internet out of 8 billion people? 4.95 billion. Five billion people have access to internet. Means you can almost reach everyone on earth. It's a huge population. Now, how many of them can say confidently, 
I received the message of Islam already from somebody, maybe only a fraction of them. Kaditha, it's a catastrophe. Now Allah will hold us accountable. If somebody says, I didn't have knowledge, I didn't have means, I didn't have this, I didn't have that, maybe you will have a valid excuse. But now the excuses are being removed because everyone can be a da'i. So I want you to be in this class, not to say it was interesting or I hope I can use AI to write my master's thesis in a, a, a day or two and I don't have to do any work. That's not the goal. The goal here, as he mentioned, is have the intention, how can I use technology for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So what is the, the ruling on these things, right? This is a question that many people ask. When we talk about AI, some people, they go very far. And they talk about AI is going to kill us and take over the world and this one and that one. Take it easy. We already know in the Quran and Sunnah how the world will end. And it's not going to be at the hand of a robot or AI, right? So these things, just like all the technology that came before it, they are tools. When you talk about television or radio or whatever technology came before, the scholars would sometimes talk about them and warn about them. But they weren't saying that that thing in and of itself was haram, right? When they talk about TV or radio or whatever it was, the concern for the most part was this tool, this machine, this device, how are you going to use it, right? And the problem now with technology, it's a debatable issue. Has technology made life better or not? I don't know. When we look now at the rates of anxiety and suicide and this one and that one, when you watch a documentary where they interview the founders of social media, the founders of the like button and the refresh option on your, on your feed and all of that, and they openly say, I don't allow my child to go to a school where they have access to gadgets and technology. Ya Rabbi, why? Because they said, I know how detrimental it is. I know how addictive it is. We designed it to be addictive. The person who is the CEO of the company says, my assistant puts an app on my phone that blocks me from using social media. Yeah. Because they know how harmful it is. So the reality is these things, they have a lot of downsides. But now it's in everybody's hand. I don't think there's... Anyone who doesn't have a smartphone on the face of the earth, they are very small in number. And if you have it, then you are using it. And most of the time we are using it to consume garbage. We are using it to earn sins. We are using it to get ourselves into trouble. We are harming ourselves. When you read the fatawa of scholars that talk about these things, they said, <clears throat> if you want to make content, which is even mubah, you still have to ask yourself, is it going to be harmful while well, it was actually permissible? Why? Because people become addicted, because people spend too much time, because people end up doing it in a way that harms them. Sometimes physically, they even hurt their eyes, they hurt their neck. Now they said they are detecting in young people horns that are growing out of the back of the skull. And they said this is coming from what? From people having their head down all the time. So it's causing physical deformations in the back of the head. And they said, well, maybe this will be an evolution that the next generations will come born with these bones popping out, right? Why? Because the head is like a bowling ball. The bowling ball, imagine you put it down and it's pulling all the weight on your neck. So we are hurting ourselves with technology in many cases. So we have to ask ourselves, when you learn about AI, you learn about it for two reasons. One, when you understand it better, you can then hopefully protect yourself from being manipulated. Now, the recommendations that pop up on YouTube, that pop up on whatever social media platform you are on, the advertisements, none of it is random. None of it is random. All of it is well thought out and well planned and AI is monitoring you. Even your phone is picking up what you talk about. You just talk about a product with your partner, your, your, your child, your parent, and then suddenly the phone pops up an ad for that thing. Yeah, it's not a coincidence. This is all AI. They are grabbing that information. They are using it. The problem with technology, when it is not guided by principles and belief, then there is going to be the problem, right? Because the people who invent this technology many times are coming from a capitalist society, Western values. And for them, the main goal is what? More, more, more. How can I make more money? How can I reduce costs? 
How can I become more productive? How can I do this? How can I do that? And that to an extent can be okay, but many times they are taking it too far because then the goal is what? How can I manipulate this person into watching this, buying this, doing this, even when that thing is, for example, harmful for them? And that's why you find governments, even in Congress in America and other places, they are debating with those uh, social media companies and other technology providers your product led young people, for example, to commit suicide, to kill themselves. Why? Because the content was feeding them. Oh, you are thinking about suicide? Here's more videos about how people committed suicide. Ya Rabbi, what is this? And the company that's doing it, they don't think about it and they don't care because their goal is how do I get eyeballs? It's an attention economy. How do I get you to look? And how do I get you to click? And how do I get you to like? And so on. So we as Muslims, of course, we have a moral compass. These people, they don't. For them, they want to make money. They use technology to make money and they don't care. There's no right or wrong way to make money for them. And it's social Darwinism, survival of the fittest. You are not strong, then you don't survive. It's your problem. For us, we say no. We have principles. We have values. We know what's right and wrong. And we want to use this for the benefit of mankind. And even if the content is mubah, is permissible by Islam, it may not be for the benefit of mankind if it's overused, if it's addictive, if it's physically, psychologically going to be harmful, emotionally destructive, and so on, right? So what we want to think about with these things is I'm most likely going to be a consumer of this technology. I'm going to be affected by it. I may use it to affect others. Why not then direct that with a good intention, with good and beneficial content, that is going to lead people to a better life in this world and in the hereafter. And, and, and who is better than that? Woman ahsanu qawlan. Who's better than the one who's going to call to Allah? Then is going to teach people about their true purpose in life and who their creator is and why they are here and where they are going, right? So don't live a life where we are just kind of passively receiving all this technology and we are not leaders. Right? Because if we are leaders, then we can try to guide and control and improve how these things are going to be used rather than just be victims of it. And then when we actually use it, we join companies or we join organizations where there's no Muslim in the leadership and they don't care about right or wrong. So even when we are developing these tools or using these tools, we end up falling into something which is mahdur. We fall into something which is forbidden. Right. So this is the kind of... Um, um, thinking that we need to have, right? More and more in business, they call it thought leadership. When you have expertise, when you have knowledge, then you can start to guide, then you can start to lead the conversation about how this should be used, what's right and what's wrong, because that's the big conversation today. What's ethically acceptable when using AI, when using robots, when using technology, there have to be some kind of boundaries. There have to be some kind of red line that cannot be crossed, right? So we as Muslims, we are rightly guided by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the Quran and the Sunnah, and we should ensure that that permeates into our usage of technology, right? So using chat GPT to cheat on your assignments and your exam, is that okay? Now you've learned all the websites, right? And all the techniques. Click, 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 and the essay is ready in two minutes. Is that valid? Unless your instructor said you can have chat GPT do the work for you, then that's cheating, right? So a Muslim is not someone who's going to use technology to try to get ahead, but to be deceptive and dishonest and so on. So there are definitely um, um, human intervention required and guidelines from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala required for us to use these things in a proper way and in a beneficial way. Wallahu a'lam. <laughs> So you, you already answered one of the questions that was sent in. Okay. So I think one, one person wanted to know, is it okay to use ChatGPT for you know, cheating an exam or an assignment? So I think you made that quite... Uh, cheating is cheating, doesn't uh, matter what method yeah. you're going to use. Your friend wrote it for you or the computer wrote it for you. But of course the computer and technology is then they're helping us all along, right? I mean, when I was a kid, there was no Google. There was go to the library and open the books and spend a lot of time trying to find things to quote and so on. Now you can Google and you can find it so easily. Do we say it's cheating? Not necessarily. Everyone is using the same thing. But you're giving references, you're saying where you got it from and so on. 
use ChatGPT to write the whole essay for you, then submit it as your uh, original work, obviously it's, it's not right. Also, there is now a tool. There's some doctor asked me for this. You have a tool to detect the ChatGPT answer. And I'll give it to you. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> What, what's it called? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's for the professor, not students. All right. So they have now a tool. Type, okay. Uh, so, okay, we have a question here. Uh, so, is there a platform in which AI can help to analyze a group of non Muslims in a specific area regarding what might be their most common misconceptions? I'd like to analyze, to, to analyze people in a specific area. Is there a specific AI tool that can be used for that? Uh, look, this tool, I, inshallah, I will in my home, I did already a tool. Uh, but in other concepts, when you are shared with non-Muslim, okay, we create an AI tool to analyze his sharing with us. So he is uh, aggressive, he is a near Islam, uh, what uh, tags used in his uh, keywords in his uh, chat uh, relating to, uh, relation to this uh, uh, chat what is the best content that suit this guy make analysis for this guy in details and also it make analysis for the dying he asks a good question or no he asks his, his, his way of asking the question is good or no he makes the search for the analysis for the dying for the guy from muslim for the conversation and he also give uh, a model for the best composition based on the shape between uh, the animals. Uh, also, as more you when you ask what the most common question about Islam and the best model to answer it. Uh, but uh, there's a very important point that you, uh, you must don't take the answer as it is. Because you will answer very good in some points. But some points, it is contrary to them. That means that you really check there is some good, okay, but you must really check them. Yeah, yeah. So like that, that's basically the next question: is that how how can you trust the authenticity of the information? Like, don't trust. You have scholar, ask scholar, revise. You put your own material. As I, as I mentioned, there's two ways to manipulate this issue. You ask him to give you the 100%. Okay? 100% is must divide it 100%. The another uh, uh, method is you provide your own data and ask him to summarize. Ask him to make that like I did. Ask him to make a quiz. You can make a quiz for you. Ask him to summarize or make a video script. This uh, equation would be uh minimum than the first but also you must revise it but because i did this yes from two days i make a script generate for ChatGPT. i make uh i told him you will act as a muslim debater with experience 20 years and you never lose a debate i will ask you some questions and you answer for me, related, I give him the book, uh, 15 uh, common questions about Islam. Related to this data, please uh, give me a fair answer, fair answer for this data. I give him about 10 questions. The nine was perfect. The answer was perfect. One question, we deal with uh, the same data, okay? I ask him about LGBT. Okay? He didn't answer good and put uh, another data that is unexpected and good. And, uh, yeah, so when it came to LGBT, so it put you, its own ideology. Uh, you told me, uh, I told you to use my own data. Why you did add this line? He answered, uh, This is common question, it's a common um, uh, it's opinion, and I must uh, um, uh, you all the opinion. So I, I put it another restriction. Don't use your data. So just if it's not direct, you must train with as you train with uh, real body. And in the final, you get a, a good, a good answer. 
So <clears throat> the main idea you must revise line by line. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you see the amazing thing about this technology is what in the past you need multiple people with different skill sets, and then you need a lot of money to pay all of them and a lot of time for them to do their work. So one person is writing a script, another person is translating, another person is making the graphics, another person is checking and revising the translation and editing and this and that. So the whole, like a DAO organization had to spend a lot of money, a lot of time, and um, um, a lot of effort. And now one person can become that team. But the, the issue is what? The source data, the source data. And that's where the person wants to be a DAO if you're taking from a well-recognized book or pamphlet and giving it this is the data you use, then you don't have to worry so much. The chat GPT is doing the work of summarizing it or making catchy lines from it for you and things like that. But if you tell it right from itself, that's where he's saying it's dangerous because then it's pulling from thousands and thousands of articles and, 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 and submissions online that could be from Shia, from this group, from that group. It's going to take from anywhere and everywhere and bring you a mix of, of things. One of the main takeaways is that when you want to do something for Dawa related, you put in the data, the, the entire data, and then you ask, you derive from it. That's the safest way to, to go. Still need to edit and revise not like the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, makes, that makes a lot of sense. It saves a lot of time. Especially for those, they've already been working this field for years and years doing this work, right? It's good with 2% of the time. So, for example, my introduction to Islam lecture, they filmed it in English years ago. So he had it translated to Russian, Spanish, and so on. I sent it to people in those languages, natives. And they said, great, like 99% correct. Just the word Allah, for example, it didn't understand how to translate it correctly, right? Or my name, it tried to translate it, didn't understand what Sharif was, right? So that's where you can go back in and correct it in the script. And then it'll re-edit it with the voiceover, and it's done in like seconds. It's amazing. Where in the past, big time. You make uh, timing script SRT uh, with the uh, uh, original. So now uh, this tool make a uh, translated video, you make it Chinese, Spanish, and French in half minute, half uh, half hour. And everything aligns nicely. In the past, you need a voice actor. You have to pay them. And they have to read the script and they make mistakes and they have to reread it and you have to try to line up the timing with the actual original video and it's a long story i, send, I will send the link uh, again public there were links on every slide in every slide links so uh, in uh, uh, in Makum, i will say yeah, yeah. You, uh, the link I put it in the last slide. Inshallah, I will put every tool uh, for the presentation, or I give it all also for you. And uh, each new tool, Inshallah, I put it. Inshallah. So will you share the link again? Uh, all the links. Just that the website as well contains adapted. It has some videos updated. AI tools, so uh, you all can follow up based on that as well. All right. Uh, another question we have is, okay, between the paid and free versions of AI, which is best for a new da'i in da'wah? Like, between, between the paid and free version of AI, which one would you... Uh, uh, now the free for English is X. You can use it. Uh, sure, the, the shell GPT-4 is 500 times the shell GPT-6 as a data and uh, powerful. Uh, so till now, to be used with ChatGPT 3 is more than enough, for the, especially English. If you are talking about English, ChatGPT 3 and uh, you, can, you can use it, free. But the tools is not free. Okay. All the other tools, huh? Well, not free. Yes, but uh, this is some tool is five, from $5 to $20. All right, uh, moving on. How, how, do, how can we go about respecting human intelligence, input and efforts in today's time? As AI is blooming and generating so much, and this was only possible due to the human mind, but as we go forward, like how can we still 
respect the human mind and utilize it like is it, yeah that, that's the question so i when i began i make traditional dawah and digital dawah and i said that we can neglect both of them we can merge both of them so the same with ai we can neglect the digital dawah and go to the ai the human it's uh, like i said must be revised this is a human uh, example i now we have some session with dr khaled khaled is uh, founder of EIECC uh, group, it's related to make the human uh, leader. So the cooperation between the AI and the or digital DAO with the human, it's the photo. The, the leader will get is a technical arm. You use it as a technical arm to accomplish your work. Uh, there's some work to be honest, and there's some work will be like us, yeah, support, narration. Yes, now it's, uh, the driver will be uh, uh, perfect. And you know, I can take the tone of uh, Sheikh Sharif and make a lesson with his voice. And he get a lesson in his voice, no problem. So uh, now a combination between both of them, I thought, both the human and the AI. So the, I mean, I, I think the bottom line is, that, like you just said, the human mind is what invented all of this technology. So the testament goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we look at whatever they make which is man-made is never as good as what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made. Whether it's a prosthetic you know, tooth or prosthetic limb or whether it's um, something um, you know, man-made that we've used to replace something natural that Allah has created, even the plants that we want to decorate with, or whatever it is, when you want to compare, uh, always the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is far superior. And when they want to invent something and try to make it functional, they immediately imitate the creation of Allah. So you look at some of the robots that they've made that can move in the water or that can fly, or that can move like certain animals on the ground, they, they found them very awkward and cumbersome. And the only way they could improve them was by studying the zoology, studying the animal and its movements, its muscle structure, its bone, to try to make that robot uh, able to move more smoothly, quicker, and be more effective and so on, right? So it's only by relying on what Allah has already designed. Human beings, we are limited in our capabilities and actuality, right? So um, all of it should take us back to the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We find Allah in the Quran praising himself for ships. Ships, boats, which man makes. But the reality is, could man make that without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? They cannot. The, the, the supplies that we build it with come from him. The hands and the brain and the capability that we have and the idea that we had, all of it came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should never forget that and always attribute greatness to him. That's number one. Number two, uh, AI cannot replace human emotion, cannot replace all of these things, right? Now, for example, in the new Muslim Academy, we are using a chat bot. We created a chat bot to reach poor converts who don't have good internet access. So they have access to Facebook Messenger, but they can't stream videos, large videos, to watch the lectures and the classes that the new Muslim needs. So we said we will give them the content through a chat bot. They don't have to deal with the live human being. The chat bot will prompt them and ask them questions and give them information and teach them. And it's you, it's up and running now, bifadlullah, and it's working in five different languages. So what we found, though, you need a point where the person can click a button and say, I want to talk to a real human being. I don't want to just deal with Abdullah, your chat bot, right? Give me a real person that cares about me and knows my situation. Because the new Muslim needs emotional support, moral support, financial support. They need um, sometimes housing and to help get uh, married and find a job. And, and, and can AI do all of those things? They cannot, right? We are using AI to give them some information that they need to learn how to pray, how to make wudu, how to practice Islam. But that AI cannot replace human beings or the human interaction. Okay. So with that, we've, we've come to the, the end of the, the panel Q&A. Uh, uh, 
Sada Shura and Sada Sharif for uh, your time. All right. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> to start off with, Zakala Khaira once again for taking the time out to come to our event. Uh, we've come to the end of today's today's uh, workshop. Uh, one very important reminder: we have uh, feedback forms outside on the door that is pasted. So we would really appreciate it if you can give us your feedback. Uh, I do understand there were a lot of there were mis there were certain mishaps today. You will need to take get some feedback from the speaker as well, inshallah, to ensure that such issues don't repeat. But please do do send in your feedback, and that is how we also can improve in the events that we organize going forward. Uh, lastly, when you're leaving, uh, please make sure to take all your belongings. You know we don't want to find uh, some car keys, caps. Uh, last time there was somebody who forgot their diary. So, you know, it would not be good to see uh, somebody to read somebody else read your deepest confessions. So please do make sure to take, on, take all, your, all your belongings when you're leaving. And lastly, and before we end, of course, as Rasulullah said, Man la nas, man la nas, la Allah. He who does not thank the people does not thank Allah. And uh, with that in mind, we would like to present a token of appreciation for our, both our speakers today. If I can call upon Brother Amin to the stage. All right. Okay. So, Jazakallah Khairan for attending. I'll end the session with a quick dua. It's one of my favorite duas. Allahumma arina al haqqa haqqa, warzukna tiba'a, wa arina al batila batilan, warzukna jtinaba. Oh Allah, show us the truth for the truth that it is and guide us to follow it and show us the falsehood for the falsehood that it is and protect us from it, right? So, subhanakallah alhamdik, ashadu la ilaha ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya man tabqoon al-khayr ghadan yajlu al-layla ghiyau al-qamara Ilmun yu'alina yusiluna nahu al-aliyai wa yarfa'u